and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies, and joining me in this Isla 10-year-old single malt scotch whiskey showdown. In this corner, I have the Ardbeg and current reigning champion 10-year-old Isla single malt scotch whiskey aged in ex-bourbon cast. It is unchill filtered, has natural color, bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, goes for anywhere between $46 and $55. And in this corner, I have the Brook Lottie Port Charlotte, peated at 40 ppm, aged in 65%, first fill American cask, 10%, second fill American whiskey cask, 25% French wine cask. It is bottled at 50% alcohol by volume, sells for anywhere between $55 and $70 in the United States. I paid $65. Now, I acknowledged in the first round, I have a particular prejudice towards Ardbeg. Ardbeg is sort of my favorite team. But I have really, 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 really enjoyed this Port Charlotte 10 year old. And there are some differences here that I think are really going to be making this an interesting match. First of all, in the previous round, both bottles were all bourbon cask. As saw in the notes for the uh, Port Charlotte, this has potential for more layers of complexity due to having two different types of American whiskey cask, presumably a bourbon and a French wine cask. It's also at a slightly higher ABV at 50% versus being uh, 46%. Now, in the Lefroy versus Ardbeg competition, the Ardbeg had the hand up because it's at 46% whereas the uh, Laphroaig was at only 43%. So, in this round, the Port Charlotte has some strengths coming to it with perhaps more complexity with the barrel cast uh, and a, a higher ABV, but the other thing to take in consideration is I paid $46 for the art bag. I paid $65, you know, almost a $20 difference, you know, say $19 difference between the two bottles, and while for the most part, this is a aroma and flavor competition. And part of the consideration of what, you know, is the better bottle to buy, price does uh, take uh, at least a point or two, or at least, at least take it into uh, consideration. Alrighty, let's get into it. Now between the Lefroy and the Ardbeg, if you remember, if you saw the first round, uh, Lefroy potentially has a little bit of artificial coloring and it has probably uh, undergone some sort of uh, filtering. Sometimes Lefroy uses a uh, particle filter rather than chill filter. In other words, they just move the big chunks that could potentially float around rather than doing uh, chill filtering. Color-wise, pretty similar. Obviously the Ardbeg is looking a little bit lighter. It has more of that uh, uh, lime or uh, lemon and lime green color to it and the Port Charlotte is looking a little darker not as dark as the Laphroaig but it does have that sort of uh, copper and gold color to it first thing I say is my nose is nowhere near either one of these glasses and they both right now smell absolutely fantastic hmm I was expecting the Port Charlotte to be a little bit more intense uh, of peat but in terms of the impact on the nose, the quantity of smoke on the nose is fairly similar. Ardbeg has more chocolate, has that lime character, the lemon lime character. They both have an equal amount of saltiness and sea breeze. The Ardbeg smells younger, even though they're about 10 years old. There's more youth to it. And you get the uh, lemon lime chocolate notes there's also a character which it seems kind of like mud like if you ever have um, taking a pottery class or something like that and you take clay and you put it on the wheel and it's all wet 
and you got it spinning around and you're shaping your clay and you can kind of smell the clay, it has that character to it. It's a really, really distinctive, I think, art bag uh, trait to have that sort of mud quality to their peat. Port Charlotte's a little bit more campfire, more savory, more barbecue notes. It's, I'd say it's spicier on the nose, more, say, black pepper. It's a darker chocolate. It's, yeah, more of that savory meat with a rub on it character to it. Even though it's spent some time in the red wine cast, I don't get something that's distinctively red wine in trait and character, but there is something similar to this that it reminds me of the Ardbeg Black, which I recently released. It also reminds me a little bit of the Ardbeg Grooves. Both of those spent time in red wine casts. So even though they don't remind me of red wine, I am finding a similar trait between the Port Charlotte, the Ardbeg Black, and the Ardbeg Grooves, which all have spent some time in red wine casts. This is earthier, this is fruitier. This is more savory, this is more fruit. This is more campfire in terms of the, the, the character of the peat, and the Ardbeg is a little bit more, it's got more of a mud uh, character to it. All right, on the palette. Love the Ardbeg 10. If you're looking to get started in peated whiskeys and you don't want to break the bank, regardless of how this, this competition is going to turn out, if you keep in consideration the, the uh, price, Ardbeg is still the highest quality price ratio whiskey there is because th they've kept the price low. It, it, the highest I've seen is $55, but it's still... I'm still finding it for $46 to $50. It's still maintaining that high value. The development, the fruit up front, the chocolate and saltiness, a little bit of earthiness on the back end, and a nice follow through. Let's drink a little bit of water, the Port Charlotte. Oh my God. Oh wow. 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 Oh my goodness. Let me go for another one. Wow. You know, I, I'll be honest with you, I went in this one a little nervous because I am rooting for Ardbeg. I can't help it. I'm an Ardbeg fan, right? I went in rooting for Ardbeg, but I knew that you know, he's, the Ardbeg 10 is coming into some real stiff competition on this one. And I got to give it to the Port Charlotte. Um, the layers of flavor, the complexity, the depth of flavor. It has no youth notes. It's got savory, sweet, and salty. It's got stuff, fruit is there. It's not as fruity as the Ardbeg 10, but, and it's got this real nice barbecue character. So I'm getting like grilled stone fruits, Barbecue beef, salt, even, believe it or not, even like a little bit of overly cooked bacon, caramels, dark chocolate, and saltiness, sort of, a, and that character reminds me of a, like a melted uh, Snickers bar, absolutely fantastic. All right, so, it, it's, it's not, it, it's, in terms of the, 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 the quality of the, of, the, of the flavors of the whiskey, the development, the depth of flavor and the layers of complexity, I got to give it to the Port Charlotte. I got to give it to the Port Charlotte 10. And I feel bad. I feel like I'm being disloyal to my favorite team. But uh, the whiskey is what the whiskey is. Now, is it worth the extra 20 bucks? 19, 20 bucks, give or take, between the Ardbeg 10 and the uh, Port Charlotte 10. That I would have to leave to you to decide. If I had to buy one bottle and I was gonna have to spend an extra 20 bucks to get to Port Charlotte, and you were, if you were on a budget, I would probably go to the Ardbeg 10 because of, because the quality price ratio was there. 
but on flavors and aromas alone, I got to give it to the Port Charlotte 10, and it's the Port Charlotte 10 that will be going on to the next round. An absolutely superb whiskey. Alrighty, if you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. You're going to want to ring that bell for when I go live or post a new video, and give this video a thumbs up. If you have had the Ardbeg 10, the Lafroy 10, and the Port Charlotte 10, let me know which one you prefer. And if you have these at home right now, do your own taste test and let me know what you think and what you prefer between these three whiskeys. And we have another round coming up. We have another challenger coming up. It's gonna be challenging the Port Charlotte 10 in my next video and you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos. Y'all ready for this?